Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nooney. This is Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This time we'll be doing another pick a card. We're gonna have four options. What we're asking is, what is your next boss up? And what's it gonna look like? You know, what's coming for you? What's the next boss up or the next, the next upgrade for you? You know, so we're gonna see what's going on with that. Like I said, we got four piles. I ain't gonna do too much talking. Thanks to all those people who like, share, subscribe, comment. You know how we do. You know, I'm here. Uh, that's about it. Let's just get going. All right, pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. Timestamp's going to be in the, strip, the description box. We're going to get going. Let's see how this all turns out. Okay, so I got basically either you're a prisoner to your thoughts, a prisoner to your mind, or a prisoner to the expectations of others right now, because it's like you're basically in a box. So others are placing you in a box of expectations of how they expect you to be, and you're probably wanting to break out of that for sure. Could be a new house that's coming up next for you, but what I'm getting is uh, more likely this is going to be a lesson in self-worth, where... Uh, you might be, okay, so you might be working out with your body because you got met uh, metabolic. So it has to do with uh, breaking down fats, working for the body. I'm getting definitely something about like working out because you got nakedness here. So maybe you'll be more body positive. What's going to be happening is you're actually putting the effort in the time. And this is like what a practical plan. That means like it's a steady steps that you'll be taking towards actually like putting effort into seeing the value of yourself and because there's a palace here i also know that that means that being at home by yourself being at home with yourself so instead of how others be, be instead of you being boxed in or project or others projecting on you how they assume that you should be you're going to actually be finding your own place finding your own home within yourself or you might be finding a bigger home as well because that look like something that might be coming along as well um I get more so that you're going to be listening to your own, your own higher self. Like you'll listen to your own thoughts, your own dis decisions. You won't be letting the judgment of others or the fears that others project on you keep you in this box anymore. So when this is all about to be happening, what's going to be happening is you're basically walking away from people who intended to stab you. There's people out here in the forest. They were intending to, to either betray you or take advantage of you. But you're basically guarded as well. You got your, you got, you know, you're protected. You got your own sword. So you can basically hold your own. You'll be able to hold your own. But you're in the energy of walking away from it. Could be walking away as well from a queen of pentacles. It could be a king of pentacles, but it's a queen. It doesn't have to be a female. It can be a male. But you could be walking away from a male or a female who may have been afraid to actually have a fresh start with you. Um, that's a possibility as well. You could be leaving maybe past betrayals from that person in the past. But it's like an energy of you walking away from like something that either was once comfortable for you or something that once you considered as stable, but it didn't quite get off the ground. And so you'll be leaving that and probably leaving old friends as well behind, which is usually what we do when we do the next upgrade. When we upgrade, we usually move on to like, you know, the next level. So we get rid of old people. It's like sandbagging. You let rid of, get rid of old weight so that way you can move faster through the waters. And whenever I see a new romantic cycle, that means you could be coming on to new partners, but it doesn't always mean that. It could just mean that you're starting to recognize your value as well, and that makes you more attractive to other people. It doesn't mean that they're going to come and you know approach you, but it does mean that you know you're actually taking more pride in your your physical appearance. You know, because I see a lot of like makeup. I see a lot of like physical body adornment, you know, nice clothing, nice boots, you know, nice dresses, you know what I mean? So it's like others will be watching you while you're getting these rewards, while you're getting this big up, you know, but 
but right now you might be in a small period of what's keeping you there is like having this this feeling of uh not being enough you know or feeling like your mind is racing not being able to rest it's anxiety staying up at night you know it's not really being able to think straight or think clearly so part of the thing that you're going to need is making a plan you know having a step-by-step -step idea or step-by-step -step routine routines are really good for manifestation or for for just for any type of creation you know it builds structure and stability which is what you can build anything off of you need some type of foundation so at this time the foundation you were using was other people's beliefs which kept you trapped and boxed in right and it didn't really give you a, a, a place of your own or a home a home within yourself it kind of felt like you thought you were home or thought you were comfortable there, you know, but it's really another opportunity outside of this. And that's why you left. You know what I mean? I got you either walking away from someone who was stable and seemed to be reliable, but they were either afraid to take a, a chance because they had been possibly hurt in the past, or you were just leaving. You might have left them, to, you know, you could have left from old friends and leaving from a lover. So you might be the person that's leaving from two, two things at once or multiple things at once. You might just be cutting everybody off just to get a brand new start. And that makes you more attractive when you choose you first. So I'm getting the energy of you basically choosing you first. This is what I got. This is your advice first. Let's give you some advice so you can see what's up. So we got prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Yeah, so I'm getting, that's, that's for one. When you get rid of past guilt and shame, it actually makes you lighter. It makes it easier for you to move forward and to have more faith and confidence in yourself and the new beginnings. But when you hold on to the guilt and shame of the past mistakes that you made, you don't allow yourself to see new opportunities. All right, so I'm getting like you're basically like just taking this risk. It's not, it doesn't seem like too much of a risk. It just seems like, you know, you, you have your sore, you have some type of level of that you feel is like protection for you or something that you feel is uh, going to keep you safe. You know, it could be your spirit, could be your religion, could be, you know, financial backing that you have for yourself. But what I'm getting is that you're no longer going to be a slave to how others perceive you or how others determine your worth. You're not going to let others determine your worth. You're going to be finding your own self-worth. All right. Listening to your own inner, inner guide. It says, look at each story that repeats itself in your mind as a stranger would ask. Is this true? So my nose itch like a mug. Somebody must be talking about me. Hey, so look, it says, look at each story that repeats itself in your mind as a stranger would ask yourself. Is this true? Yeah. So this is just this is basically you not having a negative self talk with yourself. You know, allowing your, allow, just listening to the real you. What would you really want to do? And then do it lovingly. But speak to yourself with love as well. It's the, right here it says, please be gentle and love yourself. Provide your body mind with what is truly needed to carry you on through this journey. Yeah, and self-worth is, is a big part about understanding who you are, what it is that you need in this world, and then asking for it. Having the courage to ask for what you want. So I'm getting this energy of you no longer being stuck in the in the uh, projection of who others think you should be. And you'll be more so building a home within yourself and, and finding your own worth. You'll find your own stability and own foundation with that. That's going to make you more attracted to new lovers as well. There's a possibility of new lovers. I don't see too much of anybody moving there. But anytime you leave a cycle, it's also a beginning of a cycle. So I also see you leaving from possibly someone who was either felt like they were home to you, comfortable to you, or it was someone who was afraid to have a solid brand new start with you because possibly they had been hurt or they had been snaked in the past. You'll also be leaving some friends who might have betrayed you and got over you or had intentions to betray you, all right? That's the energy I'm seeing here, as well as, like I said, taking care of your body and actually like being, being more, I would say body positive, but I'm thinking of it as more like, uh, maybe possibly working out or getting some type of regimen, workout regimen, something of the sense like health, eating differently, something of that sort. But I get that you won't be living under the the, the like restrictions of others and how they how they view you or how they think about you, which is great because once you find your own self worth, you can get out here and be adventurous and go see what else is out here in the world, and then come back and tell the rest of us, hey, 
It's safe over there. It's exciting over there. You should go check it out. But we won't know if you don't go out there and check it out. I mean, I might go and then I come back and tell y'all, but we would like for you to go too and then tell us, you know? So, I feel like that's all I got right about now for pile one. But I am getting that, this is, once you release the guilt and the shame or that feeling of uh, regret, like, you know, of not doing things the best way that you could have done before in the past, you did the best you could with the information you had gained back then. Now that you've gained more information, it would only be, you know, rightful for you to be able to move forward with this new information that you had and apply it to your life. Okay. Wow. My nose is itchy. Okay. Sorry, y'all. So that's all I got for pile one. I'm going to go over here to pile two. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Noonie. This is Leo in the third house. Pile two. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I am getting something a little different. So maybe you need a break because you got a lot of cards of disconnecting taking time out, right? You got taking time out. You got breathe, right? You got uh, spirituality. So you'd be disconnected. So you're needing to have like a relaxation. This is what you'll be going through. You'll be going through an energy of like recharge. I'm getting like a recharge because we even got the eight of pentacles in reverse, which is like also not like putting in the work. So you need to relax. All right. Now, there may be some type of offer that comes in. You know what I mean? Because you may have been, you really do need to relax. That's, that's the bigger thing that I'm getting here. So you might have been dealing with like a loss of something. Like a loss of a family member or a loss of a friend. It's something emotional that you haven't fully processed yet. And it has you feeling disconnected. Could be at work. Could just be work overworking you. You could just be overworked. You know, what I'm getting, though, is an energy of you, uh, what's coming for you, what your boss up is going to be, is basically after you take this rest, you know, because it's like an emotional, it's like an emotional storm that you're dealing with. After you take this rest, though, then you're going to be able, you'll be able to start sharing. You'll start sharing your gifts with others. You know, this is basically, um, it's like creative, creative gifts. And so whatever it is that you're building You'll basically have, you'll have people who won't like it. They're not going to like what it is that you're creating. So you might be, you could be, a, a, you know, a healer. Because I do got spirituality here. So you could be a healer. And Fountain is about sharing creative, you know, spiritual gifts. You know, it's, but it's also like helping others, you know, with your gifts. So, you know, and then when they have Gaia, Gaia is about, uh, Whatever it is that you create, you may have to like defend it through hell and high water. You may have to really go through like great limits to, to defend it. But a lot will come from it after you defended it. You get what I'm saying? And there's an the energy of like maybe others are trying to help and you're just, you know, you're not quite for sure. If this is like maybe it's a it's it's a level of responsibility that you may not be sure if you really want. But after you take this breath and take this time out, it may be you may realize that you're open to the opportunities. You become open to the opportunities and suddenly you become connected. So it's really important that during this time, you're going to be taking this breath, taking this time out. All right. 
like relaxing. You might, you might, you might need to actually work on your craft a little bit more because the Eight of Pentacles could also be working on your craft. You know, needing to put more effort in, needing to put more, uh, pay more attention to finer details in your craft. So you may need to actually pay attention to more details within your craft. There could be an offer that comes out of nowhere as well, you know, and this may be an offer of like a, of a higher authority and you may not be for sure if this is what you want, all right? This could be putting you in a better position. It could be someone who's a uh, philanthropist or, or um, just someone who wants to look out for you and put you where you need to be in their mind, all right? So you might be just kind of like, you know, not feeling it when it comes in. But after you take a break, I'm getting that you're going to learn to be flexible with your attitudes and your beliefs. And then you're going to be actually helping others, like sharing with others, finding creative ways to help others. And it's like you'll go. So I want to say like you'll go to like the, the far edges for them. Like, you know, maybe or or if you're like I said, if you're working on a craft, then Gaia has to do more so with you uh, defending what you have. You know what I mean? Defending it at all odds and then, you know, through actually defending it, you'll you'll gain something from it. Either like a, a smarter understanding of, you know, the craft itself or maybe uh, a, a larger understanding of people. You know, such things like that. You'll basically, maybe I, I'm getting because it has to do with like craft and, you know, sharing and sharing gifts with others to help them. You know, and then you have your Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting like maybe after you take this break and maybe study a little bit more, work a little bit more, you're going to get a big offer that's going to be basically put you in a position to be giving and sharing with others. And then whatever it is that you're building, other people aren't really like thrilled about it. They, they maybe want to tear it down and you do have, you have to defend it a lot, you know. So it'd be beneficial for you to spend time in quiet contemplation. You need to reflect within to get the answers you seek. You got that and you have time to breathe out and then you have breathe. So it's like respiratory, all right? Respiratory, breathing in. You might be quitting smoking cigarettes. That's a really important thing. You might be quitting to smoke cigarettes. You have to release so you can receive. So whatever you quit, you'll be getting in a receiving. So it's like once you take a break, a break, a recharge, that's when you'll be getting this, this order, this, this, uh, this lookout. You gotta take a break, recharge, and then it's going to become clear, clear for you on the inside, what you have to defend, what it is that you have to actually guard, whatever it is that you're creating, you have to guard, but you'll be able to share it with the well. So what I'm getting is you'll be able to guard, maybe you'll guard yourself. If it's not a creation, you'll be guarding yourself, guarding your time, guarding your space. You'll probably see that everything is connected in terms of like, if you're not putting in your best efforts, when you're rested, because you really need to rest. So it's like, if you haven't put in your best efforts, you feel disconnected. The seminary moon. Hmm. So let me read your advice real quick so we can make a little bit more sense of this. But I'm getting this is like, you're basically, it's, it's like weathering the storm is what you're going through in a sense, emotionally. You know what I mean? And it's like needing to either put a little bit more effort or pay attention to the finer details of those feelings. So that could be something that's important. You pay attention to these feelings that you're getting, these inklings or these little pulls that you get. And they'll basically give you the answers that you're needing. But I'm getting that this is, maybe there's, a, there's like a level of... Uh, a level, a level of maybe maturity you don't want or a level of uh, being in, in charge that you may not be for sure if you feel like you're in, uh, that you're in the right field for, like you, like you can actually have it maybe, or that you're worthy of, you are worthy of it, but maybe you're not for sure whether you are worthy of it, you know, but it's like after you take this break, take this time out, then be, you can become open to like the possibility again. Then you can see that everything is connected again. And then you pay attention. And it's like you can weather the storm. That's a big thing here. So it's just telling you like, take this time out. Take the time out because you might be feeling disconnected from your work, from your craft. Take this time out. So there could be just, if it's not an offer of like money, then it's an offer or it's like, congratulations, it's a trophy. 
you know what I mean? Some type of trophy, and you'll be sharing your gifts. A safe fountain. It's like sharing your gifts with others. It's helping others. It's helping others reach an emotional depth. That's what you'll basically be doing. But you'll be defending them as well. You know what I mean? And through defending them, you'll be getting more out of it. You'll, you'll learn a deeper lesson, you know? So this is your advice. Dear Guardian Angel, you got a prayer too. It says, help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs. Help me not to fear the transient nature of life. Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God in all creation. Okay. Yo, man. Yeah, that's what I am got. That's what I got, pile two. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I, I, made, I made sense of that. I felt like I was just stumbling around, but, you know, sometimes it be like that. So, anyway, pile two, thanks for watching. This is your boy, Noonie. I'm going to go over here to pile three and see what's up with them. Pile three. This is your reading. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on, kind of. Okay, so... So, I'm getting this the creator pile. The creator pile, okay? Because you have uh, elevate, joyful. You got dual, which is about two opposing ideas or two opposing beliefs and actually being at conflict or war within yourself. And then you have rebel. So, this is wanting to express yourself in ways that aren't considered conventional or believed in as, as valid and societal beliefs. And then you have believe in the impossible. So whenever I see those two cards, those three cards matched up together, it lets me know that you're at a war with yourself currently, you know, within creating something or just being, you know, being different from how society will believe you. It's like you're on a precipice of being who you want to be. There's an energy of you maybe giving over giving to others. And then there's an energy of like being too confident or too cocky. So maybe you're, you're a bit selfish, you know, you're a bit selfish, maybe. Or you're an overgiver, you know what I mean? And that causes where it's like an issue like that feels like with your pride. It's like if you, you feel like you've been taken advantage of. But it's something about wanting to rebel against the way that you've always been thinking. So maybe you're not wanting to be a mother because you got the emperors. You know, or you're, that might be something that's weird to society. You know, we wouldn't believe in that. You know, that would be definitely a rebellious act for you to not want to be a mom, especially if you birth kids. But who am I to judge? But that may not be the case. But I'm getting that maybe you may be an over, a over giver, you know, or you might be a bit selfish and, and egotistical. And that might be where you are right about now. It's because you may feel like you're not safe. Or you may feel low. And so that's probably why you're injecting your ego into every situation. And you're at an opposing, you're at an opposition with yourself mentally and emotionally because you want to be different than how you, you know, traditionally been. Which is similar to Pile 1. Pile 1 was similar to that. But this one is more of um, you, like, like you physically want to be. You want to actively be different than how you see or how you've been, you know, in the past. This wasn't like pile one was more about how others were seeing them. Pile this one and yours is more about how you're seeing yourself. And it's based on how your, your ego is to it. Your confidence is based on how you see yourself at this moment. And that this is how you were able to keep yourself safe by being more egotistical and maybe a bit selfish. Your advice is a time to give rather than take, right? 
as well as inspiration and rainbow. I'm going to read those in a second. But I got the energy that you'll be in when these blessings come is an energy of like uh, lacking creativity or lacking the feeling of, of, of either being abundant or being attractive. You know, there'll be passion there. So it'd be like communication is going to come in, but it'd be at a time when you're feeling really low, you know, where you're not feeling like your best. You know what I mean? Where it's like you may feel tired and worn down. So at a time when you're like really tired and worn down, that's when like this, this area. So it's like filling the areas of energetic weakness and strength, which is a Leo trait. You can walk easily knowing that you are safe and protected. So fill any areas of energetic weakness with strength. You can walk easily knowing that you are safe and protected. So, okay, I'm getting this. Now it makes sense. The egos was keeping you from actually being able to be who you really genuinely want to be. All right. Now, though yours isn't like exactly like power one, it's similar to power one on the fact that, yo, my nose is killing me. I'm trying to understand why. All right. All right, anyway. Confidence is your key to success. So that basically means that your ego is in the way at this moment, right? And that's what's keeping you from actually rebelling or what's going to appear as rebelling. It's really you trying to be the real you. You want to go against the tide of what you've always gone against. Maybe you're a little bit selfish or you're either an overgiver. It's one of the two here. But that was your way of keeping yourself secure. But it really didn't keep you super, super secure because you were always feeling low and you didn't really genuinely feel safe. It might have messed with your uh, immune system as well. So you might believe that it's impossible for you to actually change because these two, these two thoughts or these two ways of being are so opposing or so such an opposition to each other. They're like they're so hard to actually integrate. They're more so like fight or they, or they conflict. It's two conflicting thoughts, two conflicting ways of being. And you really just want to be able to get out and just like be eccentric, really like express yourself in a way that's not traditionally you, you know. And so your ego is what's keeping you from doing it. And this energy of, uh, of needing to share or needing to compromise with others, you know what I mean? That's where you're at. It's like, you know, you're really prideful, but you're in an area of needing to compromise or work with others. Like it's going to work in your favor to help others out. And maybe that's just the new version of you that you're maybe coming up on. But what I'm getting is during this time, though, you're not going to be feeling super abundant. You're, gonna, you're not going to be feeling like the most creative or, you know, you pretty much run down is kind of the energy I'm getting. But it's the energy of like a desire of wanting things to come quickly as well. So I'm getting like you'll be really tired and out of it, but really desiring things to happen really fast. You know, and so what, is, what your advice is as well is release the worry and fear and allow confidence, trust and strength to take you to your goal. So confidence is your key to success was in here, too. So that's allowing confidence, trust and strength to take you to your goal. All right. And a time to give rather than take. So this is like not this is in your best effort, in your best interest to show others how helping you towards the finish line is going to, you know, basically help their their cause as well. But I'm just getting this energy of you wanting to be eccentric and not like traditional, not being the way that society believes that you should be, you know, and it's like you want this change. You definitely want this type of change because I'm seeing a chameleon here. So you you definitely want to like either blend in with the society or you want to like stand out. You want to be able to like go into society and, and mesh with them. But you also want to be able to like change your colors if you need to or change your spots. That's kind of the energy I get. And it's like you want this change to happen rapidly. All right. But here's the, here's what you got. Or you could be just getting like fast communication that comes in, you know, from a, a Libra or a Taurus. That could be happening too. You know, could be getting communication from a mother, a mother figure. All right, but this is your this is your advice I got right now. Rainbow, you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of light and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. Yeah, so you might be the creative pile. The creative pile. 
Um, got joyful as part of your advice as well. Protect your joy. And confidence is your key to success. So you also have inspiration. A wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are able or about to enter your aura. Okay, so yeah, it's at a time when you're not feeling the most creative. Yeah, all right. We're not really for sure exactly how to go about doing it. There's going to be some creative impulses that come in to basically help you integrate these two opposing thoughts or two opposing ways of being. All right. So it says it important. It is important for you to trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts, rebel, which is eccentric thoughts. Right. That's where you're opposing because these are different thoughts to you than what you're, tr you're traditionally used to. All right. So pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. All right. So I'm getting that you need to be confident about this, about what you're doing. That that's really going to stand out. That's what people will notice mostly is that you're confident in your eccentricness. You know, you're confident in being weird or thinking outside the box or, or behaving outside the box. You know, you're not stuck to societal beliefs. All right. There's going to be a wave of inspiration that comes in for you. And it's going to be feeling at a time when you're not feeling the most inspired or creative to be able to move forward, you know, but this will be what gives you that, that passion and that drive. It's going to give you a little bit more of that, that boof, that push. All right. It's going to give you a push. But it says you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. A jewel is like, we call it like a gem. I think of like a gem, you know, something that's hidden that you didn't know was valuable. And that's pretty much you at this time, you know, and your confidence is what's going to basically shine your light for others to see, you know, your quirkiness, your weirdness, you know, you could be an Aquarius, you don't have to be, but that's just something that that's like showing up here. It could be a Virgo, could be a Leo as well, or you could be a Libra and a, um, or a Taurus. Those are some of the signs I am seeing, but yeah, just, this is a disability of you being able to like allow your, like your quirkiness or your weirdness to show, you know, all right, Pile 3, that's what I got. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nooney. This is Leo in the third house. I'm about to go over to Pile 4 and wrap this joint up. Pile 4. This one had the most cards. Okay. Okay. So you got two cards of being being malleable for a new start. All right. Transmutation, insight, reconnecting. Venus, Istar, Emperor, Chariot. Okay. So this is going to be a life-changing moment for you because you also have a new start is, is, uh, is coming. But nothing is set in stone with what you have going on. So because this is a new start, just know in the beginning, your loved ones are safe. All right? Because that's more important than anything. So you're basically re reconnecting with yourself, being present. All right? Now, Ishtar is usually a, a sign of Pisces. And it has to do with... Hold on now. Nose itching like a mug. I don't know what's going on. Somebody must have put something on my nose. Hey, yo. So, um... Basically, be getting pre you'll be uh, I said getting pregnant. Basically, be becoming present. All right, could be having a baby, but it doesn't have to be. I don't see anything about no kids. But I do get this 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 uh momentum of you like you're about to be moving forward, about to be moving on. 
You know what I mean? It's like you're gaining up your will, letting go of control, letting go of like these these uh depressive thoughts of being stuck in your head. That's that's the energy you're gonna be in when your big your next big boss up is coming. All right, but but this isn't like set in stone that what actually is gonna come of it. You know, there's gonna be some type of luxury, so it's a little bit of what you desire is gonna be good for you. All right, but you're gonna need to be malleable. You know, and so some of this would be like I'm looking at like clothes. Could be dealing with someone who's a Taurus. Or you could be dealing with a Pisces that may be coming in. Or you could be a Taurus or a Pisces. Also got Cancer here as well. We got Aries and we got Cancer again. All right. But what I'm getting is a brand new start of you changing how you see yourself. Of Like now you'll be able to go with the flow. So traditionally what I'm getting is, is you were one person. You were actually someone who was always going with the flow. But now I'm getting that you'll be getting more of what you desire. You know, so the thing about it, though, when Venus shows up, right, when Venus shows up, it's usually that you'll get what you desire, but you'll have to pay for it on the back end. So you'll be getting what you want is what I'm getting. Like you'll be living a life that you won't need to escape from. All right. It's like you'll be present. They'll be like maybe you'll see the higher presence of the higher purpose of what's going on exactly around you. You know, what I mean, saying there's no effort required for this shift. So all you need to do is just float, be present and allow every aspect of your being to be transformed. So this is like something that's going to happen for you regardless. All right. Because a new start means like you don't have to do much work. Like it gets pushed in. It's like a push. It's like a trying. A trying is like easy going and uh, easy going, but it's like a push. So whether you be ready for it or not, it's going to put you out there. All right. Um. But it'll be an energy of when you'll be like just deciding to move forward and move on and let go of control and stop the obsessive thoughts and like basically come out of it like that mental prison. It's like once you get out of your head, let go of control and then, you know, basically like be OK with moving on. That's when all the good stuff starts happening for you. It's like you got to be malleable and you got to get a little bit of what you desire. It could be good for you. So you get a little bit of what you want, but it's like you have to pay it on the back end. You know what I mean? Like it comes back, it, it comes back around. It's like you you get what you want, but you also gotta, you know, pay pay somebody else or look out for other people as well. You know, you gotta be flexible, malleable, you know what I mean? Able to go with whatever's coming along because what is coming along is a great new start for you. You know, basically you'll be in, in contact with, you know, who you really are, get to the root issue of what's been bothering you. And that's what's gonna help you let go of the let go of the control issues. And be able to move forward and get rid of like being stuck in your head or these 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 uh these I want to say imprisoning thoughts, but that's another word I just couldn't think of it right now. You know what I mean? But it's like basically if you're thinking it, it would be like you know I need to escape. So it's like that feeling of maybe being flighty or like this isn't isn't going how I like it to. I need to get away from it. Or there's an energy of you feeling like there's no hope to this, and there's like another energy of you feeling like I don't know who I am. You know what I mean? And so all this as you, as because it's like a change. So as all of this is going on, you're basically going to be going with the flow. And as you go with the flow, then you'll be getting more insight within yourself and finding like you have a higher purpose to this, that every situation that happened prior to that has a purpose to this. And it's letting you know, like, connect with your higher self, allow yourself to be guided to your higher purpose. As the veil of illusion falls away, you will find your answer. The root of the issue for you will make itself known. Be open to the information and receive from your body and environment. So by just going with the flow, this information is going to come for you. All right. DNA repairing. That's dope. A brand new start is coming. So it's like an upgrade. I'm getting like bigger upgrades to who you are. You know what I mean? But it's, it's basically you breaking. Okay. So when DNA repairing happens, this has to do with... um. It also has to do with, uh, uh, like, uh, what I'm thinking about, ancestors, ancestry, DNA repairing, because we have these things called epigenes. And epigenes, so I learned about this in like 2012. Epigenes has to do with whenever, uh, whenever you're born, you have regular genes that come from your genetics. But due to the environment that you're in, that environment changes your genes. You create new genes for protection, to protect you, to guard you. And those new genes are called epigenes, genes on top of genes. God damn it. Nose, genes on top of genes. Like, what could it be? Why is my nose itching? 
Mm, Y'all better stop talking about me. All right? Straight up. All right, so happy jeans, jeans on top of jeans, right? So you could be changing those jeans that had you feeling like a fight or flight. That's changing family sag family patterns, family uh things we call generational curses. But these are old beliefs and patterns that aren't yours. So it's like you'll be going with the flow and figuring out who you really are, which is dope because these past three piles were similar, where everybody was kind of feeling a similar a similar energy, but each one has it slightly different. You know, this one is more like changing the way that your that that you know a lineage is, or changing how you how you go about interpreting life and seeing life. You know what I mean? It's like you'll go with it. You know, you're changing, and things are aren't going to be the same for you anymore. It's like you you'll be grounding yourself. Is the energy I'm getting? Like you won't have that fight or flight moment anymore. You'll realize because it's some it's like some type of communication comes in that is going to let you know that you are loved and you are cared about, right? Because there's this energy of you needing to reconnect and get deeper insight to yourself. So there's energy that you have that's been building up. It's frustration. You know, it's basically like, you know, no hope. And it's like this tension. And so basically it's letting you know, like, there's no need for effort in this. Like, you don't have to do anything. Just allow things to flow. Nothing is yet set in stone. Ishtar is about, is about going with the flow. Venus is about getting what you desire though you'll have to pay something back in return. You know what I mean? And probably what you'll have to pay back in return is the emperor in reverse, which is letting go of control, right? Letting go of uh, control of like, like uh, constricting thoughts, right? Not letting others fool you or pull the wool over your eyes. You know what I mean? The energy and, and, and consistency to be able to move forward. Once you release that, that, that need of being in control about how you're moving forward, Things will come in for you because you have a new start. You don't have to do anything. You just kind of got to let it let it come to you because all these things are already meant for you. So it's giving you as your advice peace because it's letting you know like, yo, just go with the flow. We're basically taking you where you want to be. All right. You just need to go with the flow. The things you desire are coming to you. You just have to, you know, basically wait on it. Let it come to you. Let it. That's all. That's all I'm getting is like, let it come to you. The people you care about, they care about you and they're safe. Your new start is coming. Let go of control. Allow life to just flow. Let go of those those actual uh, those those imprisoning thoughts, those self-defeating thoughts. Let go of those. Stop letting others fool you or pull the wool over your eyes. You know, calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful spot inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love. That's nothing set in stone. Look at this, man. Don't this look like ebb and flow? Water, ebb and flow, the ocean, up and down. So the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything, for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. And that's why I'm telling you, new stars coming. All you have to do is let go of control. That's going to be the energy you're going to be in when your next big come up is coming. You're going to be letting go of control and be willing to move on. When you're willing to move on and let go of control and let go of the anxiety or the other self, the self-deprecating thoughts or letting other people dupe you and keep you trapped in this mental prison or keep you trapped in your own thoughts. When you find that own peace and just start going with the flow and allowing things to just be, you'll be getting what you desired, a brand new start. Right. And I'm getting this upgrade. It's going to be like an upgrade It's a DNA, a DNA repairing. So this is upgrade. This is taking care of, of things that were that were broken before for you. When I say broken, I'm thinking like things that weren't working for you before. Old patterns and beliefs that have been shared for generations that that don't work anymore for you. They're not working for you right now. You know, they're not working for any of us. So you will be getting rid of that. You're going to be breaking pattern, basically family patterns is what I'm getting. And you're going to be going with the flow. And it's basically, you know, in the, in the middle time, in the between time, you basically may feel flighty. It may feel like this isn't going the way that you would hope it to go, that there's really no hope. You know what I mean? And you don't know who you are now because the way that you've identified yourself was a certain way. Don't worry. It seems like we all need these same messages. You know what I mean? Because through this, through you going through the flow, you're going to get what you want and you're going to discover who you are and see your higher purpose in this moment. But the biggest thing that you got to do is let go of control and be move, willing to move forward with your will and with your dignity.
I don't know why I need to throw dignity in there, but that was important. But anyway, that's what I'm getting. Power four. Hey, so look, thanks again for watching. This is your boy Nooney, and this is Leo in the uh, in the third house. Yo, um, I just got a few things I just want to say real quick. Yo, this is like this is like one of the greatest things I ever did. You know, so just everything, anything that you ever have, like a passion, a desire that you just want to get out and just do and just try, even if you're not that great at it, even if you haven't done it before, even if other people laugh at you, go out there and do it. Go and experience life the way that you would like to experience it. It's your life. The, the, the risk that you don't take, nobody loses outside of yourself. You know what I mean? But we, we will, well, more of us, we lose when you don't take a risk. We all lose when we don't take a risk because you're not able to be the best version of yourself. And the best version of you has so many gifts and so much to offer to the world. And we won't get to experience it if you don't go out and just take a risk, go out and try, go out and fail, go make mistakes, go look like a goofy. These, these people are who change the world. So please go out there and do that. All right, man, I'm, I'm done rambling. I just felt like I needed to say that today. All right, y'all. It's your boy, Nooney. It's the only third house. Thanks for watching. I'm out.